Well, I'm here at Ground Zero. You can see right now here in the picture, the sunshine shoulder. Over there is Paul and Baby Maze here somewhere. Jenny is right there. Uh, there's quite a few of the bloggers here. This was a meet and greet. Uh, Alex Cost is right here. I forget the name of his channel. There's quite a few people here. It's just, uh, I've been here just trying to chat with everybody. Mark is here. here Mark is back here. Every man has a story. Uh, let's see. I was just talking to Baby May who was over here with her sister. That's where she at. Baby May in the middle over there. And I'm just going to walk around this shoot video. This is the person that runs the place here. So the first one of the first times I came here, I didn't. I was out of money, and I thought I could come over here, use my credit card to pay for coffee while I use their Wi-Fi. To find out, you've got to pay in cash over here. <laughs> and she was nice enough to let me leave, go get money from an ATM, and come back, which was nice. And the Wi-Fi here does work. And there, I've been meeting people everywhere here. This guy here is from Australia. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And lots of interesting people. Here's Jenny, who helped me get my apartment, which I appreciate. Here's Paul. And this guy blogs too. He runs a dive shop down in Darwin, a little restaurant down there. There's Mark. And baby May, say hello. And her sister, who did a bunch of videos at our play. And still hasn't loaded them up because it's two hours of videos. She's got to edit it down. She actually, we started to do a video here, and it was just too noisy. As you can hear, it's very noisy here right now. And we went out to our place in uh, Bokong and we videoed there, which is quite quiet. The other day, a couple days ago, I found a guy sitting at this chair, passed out cold. And he was having some kind of medical problem. He ended up getting taken out in an ambulance. Well, I wonder what happened to him for four or five days. And found out he was back in here the next day. We, he just spoke to him a little while ago. And he's fine. He got taken to the hospital and uh, they literally just looked him over and, it, and then prescribed every medication he was taking in the U.S. and said goodbye. Never did figure out what was wrong with him. Uh, some of these guys I've talked to, I'm terrible with names, so I don't know. But I wanted to shoot a little video of this. <laughs> or I took off. I was hoping that P would be here. Of course, this, this guy called him the, the Grandpa Hippie. <laughs> I forget what his name is. Nice guy. Oh, uh, here's Goldfinger. And I don't know what else to video here. Just a shorty. A lot of people are going to be putting up uh, videos of this. There was a lot more people here a little while ago. Oh, here for those guys who are into the multi cab. I'll show you a little something. What they actually are, these are actually these put together differently. They take the vans and just cut the back end into this. Uh, or when they put them back together. They start out basically as that. And if you want an adjustable seat on one of these things, you need to start out with one of those because the standard pickup style like this one are very small. If you're not, if you're not small, you're going to have problems. It, um, I don't fit in one well. My, there's no room for my feet. Ooh, I almost stepped off the little... I've got steps here. Now you got to watch your step in the Philippines. They don't give you a lot of handrails and they don't give you a, a lot of safety equipment anywhere. Uh, safety is something you see written on the back of a truck. It basically doesn't mean a damn thing. Oh. I got that guy back here. Anyway, 
multi-cab parked over there with that, that red trike is mine and the green multi-cab behind it wasn't there. Well, how he got back in there? Well, they might have pushed my trike back. Who knows? They do that. He'll move it out of the way. They need to. But this is uh, Ground Zero, which is pretty easy to find here in, in Dumaguete. If you're coming in from the south where Robbins is, you just turn past the, uh, the mall. You have to go a little ways, and there's a spot where you have to... Oh, it says closed in the window. Uh, where you have to turn right, because they change it to one way. And then you get... <laughs> you see some of the funniest stuff here in the U.S. Or in uh, the Philippines. But uh, you turn, and then you immediately turn left after you turn to right. And you just follow that, and it brings you actually down... So you'll see this like orange colored house thing that's down here. It brings you out right down here and then you come up here, boom, you're right here. Or you come down to the boulevard down here and then that'd be a little more hard to explain exactly where to turn in. There's a McDonald's sign down there, but there's not a McDonald's over there. At any rate, that's it, ground zero. And I'm surprised there's even a parking spot out here because there were so many people here today. The place was packed. Well, typical day here, I end up with like four more people on my friend's list than I meet. This guy over here just told me about a German baker over on Sikihor, right there, that I can get proper bread from. How you doing today, man? How are you? All right. Good to I see you. I what your first name is again. Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. Morgan. Morgan, yeah. I'm bad with names. I don't forget faces, but I'm bad with names. Sometimes there are faces I wish I could forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I do it all the time. You ever heard the name Muhammad Atta? Muhammad Atta was the guy who was in charge of the 9-11 attack. And uh -huh. the one that was flying the first plane that crashed into the tower. Popular guy. Yeah, I met him two weeks before 9-11. Really? The face I wish I could forget. Yeah. I was in Newark Airport two weeks prior to 9-11. And the hallway is about as wide as this room. And Otto was just leaning against the wall reading the newspaper, and he was the only one there. As I come walking through, I see him there, and I just says, how you doing, man? He waves back, hey, you know, you know. He's some random guy. I go in, and they they didn't fly out of Newark. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't think. They didn't fly out of Newark possibly because of me. When I went, he was 50 feet from the United Terminal metal, they had metal detectors back then, but wasn't as heavy as security as now. And it's long before the shoe bomber guy. I show up in sweatpants and a t-shirt and, and sneakers, and this guy's literally damn near making me strip search to get in. And they didn't fly out of Newark. I'd have stood there and watched that whole thing. And he probably thought, well, the security is too much of a pain in the ass here, let's go to another one. Newark is the second closest airport to New York City, and that's what they, they were, where it was, a United Terminal, International Terminal, that means heavily loaded planes with fuel is exactly what they were looking for. So, maybe because partly because of some dude busting my balls, I saved people's lives in Newark Airport. I have no idea. All I know is I wish I could have forgotten ever meet the asshole, or wish I was psychic so I could go over and put a bullet in his head. But, it is what it is. Some things in life you can't change. But you can change your environment, which I did, and I'm here. And I'm not regretting that at all. Okay, well that's about, oh, there's, there's a, uh, there's people I don't even recognize over there. With Paul's there, sometimes Soldier's there, Alex. Alex was my neighbor and had moved down near where I'm at now. We're in Bacom now instead of up at Hermantina Apartments, which is okay, but where I'm at now is way better. At any rate, that's about it. Uh, can't think of much else to say. Another quick walk through. See if anybody else has popped up. I think everybody that was coming already came and went. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like whoever was coming came and went already. All right, folks. That's it, we'll walk through uh, Ground Zero during a meet and greet. Bud Brown was here earlier, I finally got a chance to talk to him again. I hope he unblocked me, he was mad at me. But not for, well, what he thought was a bad reason, but it was a, it was a mis misunderstanding. Which I explained, and we're all good. Hopefully he unblocked me. But uh, that's about it. Have a good one, everybody.